we made the aircraft look confident. This is a breakthrough architecture in a brand new space, so confidence is key to establish trust with our customer. And if you look at the proportion of the aircraft, it speaks to the incredible flying performance. It's the ratio between the lean body and the wide wingspan, it's the dihedral shape of the wing, and it's also the convergence of all the elements into one point, the center of gravity. Lastly, the aircraft, it had to be beautiful. Timeless beauty is achieved through fluid surfacing, not mathematical surfacing. And you can see those shots behind me, they are mesmerizing so that anyone could emotionally connect with our product. Now, what about the cabin experience? We designed a partial divider between the seats that will display your personal trip information, such that when you're approaching the aircraft, you can see your name assigned to your seat, but also your destination and your time to take off. The first moment you enter into the aircraft is key. And I think we've all been climbing into small plane or helicopter, and it's challenging. So our goal has been to make it hands-free. And we designed a unique landing gear that will enable the aircraft to sit lower to the ground, similar to the height of a mid-size SUV. So with midnight, you can easily get in with a small bag, a phone, and a cup of coffee in your hand. Now, another passenger benefit we looked at, it's the windows. We know that glass is heavier than composite. However, we prioritize panoramic windows. So at 2,000 feet, you are fully engaged with the city below. Finally, with sustainable electric flight, it was important for us to integrate materials with their own unique sustainability stories. First, we choose the flax fiber to construct our seeds. It's an invasive natural plant, highly absorbent of CO2 that needs very little irrigation. And second, we're using a fabric made from recycled content, like plastic bottles. Both materials are laid out into the cabin to be seen and to be touched at every flight. We think that this effort is joining our passengers' desire to make a world positive impact. So tonight, the maturity of a production aircraft is a true celebration between design and engineering working together. So please join me in a big round of applause for all the LG have worked so hard to make Midnight possible. I swear, every time I, I swear, every time I hear Julian speak, it, I feel like I need to go and get a sketch pad and just start creating. He's just emotional, and he just brings such an incredible energy uh, to this process. Building airplanes are hard. So when do you get to fly in this airplane? We're targeting certification by the end of 2024, and then to begin operations shortly after in 2025. We just announced our first point-to-point eVTOL route between New York City 
and Newark Liberty International Airport. And the plan is to announce many more in the near future. So this is a really pivotal moment in aviation. There's this new golden age of electric flight, and it's the time where we create this desire to fly again. It gives us the ability to fulfill our mission at Archer, which is to unlock the skies for everyone, freeing us to reimagine how we live and spend our time. Thank you all for coming. I'd like to ask you to come join me on stage and come explore midnight. So come on down. Yeah.